Hello! Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Ang bilis talaga ng araw. Thursday na naman. So bago tayo magumpisa, tayo po ay manalangin. Ama naming makapangyarihan sa lahat, pinupuri ka namin. Hugasan niyo po ang aming puso at gawing itong malinis at kaaya-aya sa iyo. Salamat sa pag-ibig mo o Diyos sa mga salita mo na siyang nagbibigay kalakasan sa amin. Sa mga pangako mo na nagbibigay pag-asa, sa iyo po ang umagang ito at i-ready mo po ang puso ng bawat magikinig. Glory are yours forever and ever. Amen. Mga plantito dyan at mga plantito, kaway-kaway naman dyan. Bakit kaya mahalaga ang good soil at ang, at ang good heart? Basahin po natin sa Luke 8.15. But the seed on good soil stands for the stands for those with noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it, and by persevering produce a crop. Dito po ay nagkwento si Jesus sa isang lugar na sa sa crowd kasama po ang kanyang mga disipulo at mga babaeng na heal from Uh, demon possess at saka sa illness illnesses and diseases siya po ay nagkwento dito sa mga tao at kwento niya na the parable of the sower kwento po ni Jesus yung isang farmer na pumuntang nagtanim at uh, nagtanim siya at um, sa Israel kasi noon ang pagtatanim nila pasaboy iga ina ano lang yung seeds sinasaboy yung seeds kat sa kung saan tumutubo at mga ibang seed na punta siya makita natin na makita natin dito sa kwento na may apat na klase kung saan na hulog yung seed yung isa ra, sa where, uh, sa pas yung pangalawa sa rocky sa pangatlo sa thorny 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 part. Sa so, yung pangamapat, yung good soil. At yung mga, sa mga tatlong to, yung sa path, sa rocky at sa thorny, hindi po successful ang mga seed na nasaboy doon. Ang successful po ay yung pangapat, yung good soil. Ipinaliwanag po dito ni Jesus Kristo ang ibig sabihin ng seed at yung mga kind of soil. So kung gusto niyo pong basahin Uh, basahin nyo po sa Luke chapter 8 so gusto ko po lang sabihin yung good soil uh, yung seed po ay ang salita ng Diyos at, at yung seed na yun na napunta sa good soil at sabi ni dito is ang ipiniluanag niya kung anong ibig sabihin nun yung good soil, yung nabasa natin na stands for those with noble and good heart na who hear the word, retain it, and by persevering, produce a crop. Pag tayo pinakinggan natin ng salita ng Diyos at winork out natin na may pagtitiis, pag-aantay, ta ay tayo po ay mamumunga, mag flowers sa ating buhay. Hindi lang sa material, sa physical, sa emotional, at sa spiritual, kundi sa eternal life natin nakasama natin ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kasama natin ang Diyos magpakailanman. So ngayong umaga, muli nyo akong samahan sa panalangin ng ating mga missionaries at mga churches around the globe. For the Lord to open divine opportunities that The Lord will open doors of ministries and people with open hearts to receive the good news. Our missionaries are the farmers planting seeds like planting seeds. Kagaya din natin, lahat ng mga naniwala kay Kristo, nag, naging born again at sumunod kay Kristo ay tayo ay naging farmers na taga plant tayo ng seed, taga share ng word of God. Okay, samahan niyo po ako sa panalangin. So, let us pray. Oh Lord, you reign. You are robed in majesty and armed with strength. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. God, our sustainer, our missionaries are making plans and praying through ways to reach people and spread your gospel. 
Many of their ideas require additional feet on the ground. We pray, Lord, that you broaden their pool of laborers, set up divine appointments, and open doors for ministry. Touch the hearts of those who can go walk alongside with, alongside them in the task that you have given. Grant our missionaries, our born-again Christian missionaries around the globe. Yes, O oh God. Grant them success in their search for volunteers and opening ministries. God, please increase their number. We pray that you give them the discernment on how to work around challenges. Help them to think outside the box if resources in their ministries are not available. We pray that your Holy Spirit go across the planet and bless every missionary with what they need today. If they face discouraging moments in their ministries, encourage them, Lord, and give them peace to wait for your timing and wisdom for reaching the lost throughout their ministries. So are we, my God, as we, as church, empower the brothers and sisters, empower us and our brothers and sisters around the globe as we minister in our ministries that you have opened for us. Not only our missionaries, our pastor, our leaders to do the ministering of the gospel, but every believer is commanded by you, O oh God, to minister. Set up divine appointments and open door for ministry for us as well. Mighty God, we are recipients of your great love and the good news of your gospel in our salvation. As our missionaries share your gospel and as we church, as we church also share your word, enlighten the eyes of their heart, of the hearer that they may see that they may know what is the hope to which you have called us, the hope for eternal life. May our hearts burn with the words of Great Commission, so that we make disciples of all nations, my Lord. We pray you open the hearts of the listeners of your gospel, and open doors in all areas which our lives inter intersect. May pave the way of our conversations, our missionaries, and we churches will have. Open doors in our workplaces, schools, leisure activities, and our relationships. Make us aware of opportunities to bear witness to the greatness the glory and the goodness of our Savior. We churches, church members of any born-again Christian denominations around the globe, like CHCC, give us a boldness to walk through those open hearts people and proclaim the hope of redemption in Christ and the promise of eternal life. For the glory of your name and for our good, my Lord. As Colossians 4 verse 2 to 4 tells us, May we continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving, and pray for us also that God may open door for the word to declare the mystery of Christ on account of which I am in prison, that I may it clear as I out to speak. Lord, we ask this, thanks by the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray also, O God, today, your loving sons and daughters who needs healing, fast recovery from illnesses and sicknesses around the globe. We pray, Sister Olive and Jesse, Brother Chester, we ask your precious blood to heal them. Healing will flow through their veins, meet their needs for recovery and medications. Miracle working God, 
We praise and thank you for the answered prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen.